Hi, this is Susanna Bowling with the Times Square Beat, and we are at 54 Below with the incomparable Judy Kay. Judy, so you're bringing part of Cy Coleman with two other people to the show. Oh, we are. We are. Uh, I am, and they are. It's, uh, it's Randy Graff and Katie Huffman, two also Tony Award-winning Broadway performers, and uh, very excited to be doing this particular material because we all have a... We all have a, a connection to the material and the man, uh, Cy Coleman, and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna party with his music and and honor him and and generally have a wonderful time. Career started almost in a controversy because you were the understudy to Madeline Kahn, and then you literally took over the role and became a star. Yeah, it's kind of a, a, you were a well, it was a, it's a Broadway story. It is, it is. Uh, that was many years ago. Uh, oh really? Oh well, I uh, I had I had been at it quite a while. Let's see that I was like in my mid late twenties, and uh, it, but it was my coming out party, and certainly in New York, and and uh, it was a thrilling experience. I was I was hired to cover Madeline, and uh, and I played a small part, later maid, so I was on stage with her every night, and she left the show five weeks in, and. They gave it to me, so it, the next morning after I took over, uh, my face was on the cover. This was the first time I was on the cover of the Post, and I learned what reality really was because by the time the end of the day rolled around, uh, it was on the floor of the uh, number two train <laughs> on its way <laughs> going north. Uh, so, it, but it was it was an amazing time in my life, and you know it's just continued. I I have led a charmed existence in this beautiful city. And I've played this great room before. This will be my fourth time here, and uh, I love it. And I'm so excited that Michael is joining this association. It's great. Now, is there anything that we can see you in, either TV or film or on Broadway soon? I wish I could say yes, but I, I'm, I, I'm doing some things that are in the works, you know, so you can't talk about them. In fact, you're sworn to secrecy. They'll kill you. I, if I tell you, I have to kill you. So uh, I really wish I could, I could blurt out something that I have uh, on deck here, but no, no, this is it. Right for now, I mean, we just put an extension on our house upstate. It, that was really fun. <laughs> now, you are so prolific at comedy. But you've always done musicals. Will you, would you ever consider doing a straight comedy? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm you know I'm an actor, so I will I will go wherever the jobs are. We've never seen you in anything that's been without music. Well, we'll tell everybody. I, I do talk. Uh, I can be s subtle. I don't have to be outsized. I can uh, yeah I I can do it. I would love it. I I, I did one film where I didn't sing thing called uh, Just Tell Me What You Want. That was comedic. And I didn't sing a note. Um, but you know, in, in this business, when they know they can count on you for something, that's what continues to come your way. Now, you can say no, and I have said no. But if it's quality, you know, I mean, a show like On the 20th Century or Phantom of the Opera or Nice Work If You Can Get It, I mean, on the face of it, I wasn't sure about that role. I wasn't sure about that role. But then it turns out to be just great fun. Mamma Mia, I was going to turn that down. Boy, am I glad I didn't turn that down. You know, I mean, it, it was a wonderful two years. I made a good living, and I had a blast, and I got in the best shape of my life. Although my, I kind of hurt now from the wages of physical comedy, as we call it. But, uh, but you know, it's, it's all good. It's all good. And if you had to pick a song that describes who Judy Kay is, what would that song be? Ooh. Mm. Julie Stein. Uh, who, would, who would it be? Uh, I want to say, where am I going? No, I know where I'm going. I'm coming to Feinstein's 54. Um, boy, I, somebody had ne never been asked that question. A song that describes me. I always ask it because as singers, music rules our life. So yeah, yeah, but I always inhabit whatever I'm given, you know. It always becomes my song as I'm doing it, you know. I'm the greatest star, I've d you know. Uh, I'm a brass band, become, I become that person. Um, um, 
So your life balance. So your life is a cycle in a musical. In many ways, in many, many ways it is. Uh, I love, I love, I love to sing ballads. You, you're, you're a singer. You like to sing ballads. That's what we really love to sing. Um, I like to sing songs that delve in deep. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Michael John Lacuse's music and Adam Gettles and Jason Robert Brown. Stuff that, stuff that really, Sondheim. yeah, um, every, everything Sondheim ever wrote, everything... Patter, I like patter if it's more involved and it's really biting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Sondheim can write some good patter too, Dick Andy. Yeah. Um, wow, I, wow. I don't want to. I don't want to diss any other song because I have to come up with one. Um, I, I love. You know, a song that I love to sing is Skylark. Have you anything to say to me? Can you tell me where my love can be? Is there a meadow in the mist? Now, when when did you first hear that song? For me, it was Bette Midler. Oh, no, no, no. I heard it as a small child. I, As a matter of fact, Hoagie Carmichael had a television show, or maybe a bit older than you, uh, where he would kind of drape himself on the piano and play songs and tell stories and then sing these great songs. And uh, so I grew up with the Great American Songbook, and my dad and I used to sing these songs, and when I did my first club act, way, way back at uh, Reno Sweeney's, I couldn't wait to sing Skylark, and I did. And those are, yeah, those beautiful, beautiful melodies to me. They're like art songs to me. Actually, you sing one of my favorite songs, Simple Song. Oh, oh, God. Well, I, I, love, I love Bernstein so much. In fact, the last time I was in this room, I did a a Bernstein Sondheim evening, and uh, that was kind of, kind of an embarrassment of riches. Did you sing Trouble in Tahiti? I, no, you know I didn't. I have done that before in that evening, but it was too long, so I, I had to cut it. Mm. But I did Simple Song. I did do Simple Song because I told the story. I, I told the story of auditioning for for the the Mass in L.A. And I and I say I said told Mr. You know the Maestro Bernstein that I wanted to sing the song, and he said you can't. I said, why not? And he said, because that, that, that's the song the celebrant sings, and the celebrant, celebrant in a Catholic Mass is always a man. And, uh, not anymore. No, that's right. Maybe not anymore. Maybe not anymore. But I'm a Jew, so what do I know? But he's, <laughs> but I, and and my, the line that I said was, well, but if two Jews can write uh, a song for a Catholic Mass, can write a Catholic Mass, then w this Jew can sing it. So... That's and I love that. I mean, I love every every the sentiments of that song and the that beautiful, beautiful melody. You know, and I did Candine recently, and I love oh, love that stuff. And when are you going to be at Fifty Four Below? November eleventh, twelfth, and thirteenth. Y'all come.